exemplary track record of governance, development, and performance. Besides delivering on high growth in terms of gross domestic product, the government is equally focused on a more comprehensive GDP, that is, governance, development, and performance. Our government has provided transparent, accountable, people-centric, and prompt trust-based administration with citizen-first and minimum government, maximum governance approach. The impact of all-round development is discernible in all sectors. There is macroeconomic stability, including in the external sector. Investments are robust. The economy is doing well. People are living better and earning better, with greater, even greater aspirations for future. Average real income of the people has increased by 50 percent. Inflation is moderate. People are getting empowered, equipped, and enabled to pursue their aspirations. There is effective and timely delivery of programs and of large projects. Economic management. The multi-pronged economic management over the past 10 years has complemented people-centric, inclusive development. Following are some of the major elements. One, all forms of infrastructure, physical, digital, or social, are being built in record time. All, number two, all parts of the country are becoming active participants in economic growth. Number three, digital public infrastructure, a new factor of production as it in the 21st century, is instrumental in formalization of the economy. Number four, goods and services tax has enabled one nation, one market, one tax. Tax reforms have led to deepening and widening of tax base. Number five, strengthening of the financial sector has helped in making savings, credit, and investments more efficient. Number six, GIFT, IFSC, and the un Unified Regulatory Authority, IFSCA, are creating a robust gateway for global capital and financial services for the economy. Number seven, proactive inflation management has helped keep inflation within the policy band. Now, the global context, Honorable Speaker, sir. Geopolitically, global affairs are becoming more complex and challenging with wars and conflicts. Globalization is being redefined with reshoring and friendshoring, disruption and fragmentation of supply chains and competition for critical minerals and technologies. A new world order is emerging after the COVID pandemic. India assumed the G20 presidency during very difficult times for the world. The global economy was going through high inflation, high interest rates, low growth, very high public debt, low trade growth, and climate changes. The pandemic has led to a crisis of food, fertilizer, fuel, and finances for the world, while India successfully navigated its way. The country showed the way forward and built consensus on solutions for those global problems. The recently announced India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor is a strategic and economic game changer for India and others. In the words of Honorable Prime Minister, the corridor, and I quote, will become the basis of world trade for hundreds of years to come. And history will remember that this corridor was initiated on Indian soil, unquote. <laughs> 